Hello y'all, welcome back to my channel. I look like I have a head full of hair. I mean, in reality, I do have a head full of hair. Um, today I'm in the kitchen, but a trick up from last night. Last night, I ended up drinking some wine that I've had in the fridge for a very long time. I don't think wine goes bad. Wine doesn't go bad. That wine, I think my friend Jules had given it to me. And I think when she gave it to me, she told me that somebody said to give it to me. I can't remember who, one of her other friends. When I tell you that it's so good, I had to take a picture of the bottle. I had the smallest bit left in there. And I had it last night, I literally passed out on the couch. So I took a picture of the bottle because I need to figure out where to get it from next because I really did enjoy it and I would like to get it again. It's a Moscato. Let me show y'all. May was actually in here too. I absolutely loved it it was so very good so I'm gonna message her and see if she will ask her friend I think I remember who told her to give it to me um, when I worked with that little lady in Brooklyn quite some time ago uh, there was a girl that was coming there some of the days one of her cousins and I think that's when her cousin gave that to her to give me but I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I had that last night passed out on the couch. I remember waking up once because I heard the baby and by the time I was heating the kettle, she went back to sleep so I didn't have to like get up and do anything. Else I just left her and let her sleep. And I quite, I, I, I don't know how I ended up sleeping on the couch because that's not like a normal thing for me in terms of like nighttime when I'm home. But I did. But also I feel like I was so overwhelmed and so just out of it from the amount of statistics homework that I had to do yesterday. I spent well over an hour and a half doing 28 statistic homework questions. <laughs> Luckily for me, because my daughter, my older daughter is obviously in high school. She's 14. So she's in high school and her and I were doing them together. There were some that she straight up told me the answer to and I'm wondering, how'd you get that? <laughs> I'm telling her, show me how you break it down, like work it out and show it to me. And there were others that we kind of did together and I like figured out how to do it based on this little app that I have. It shows you the breakdown and everything, why you got that, all of it. And I have to say, when I was doing math in CXCs in Jamaica, if I had this app, I probably would have done better. I probably would have progressed more in math, but we didn't have it. Oh my God, me, I figured out that I stick a little bowl in the back of her hair and she's done and she looks so cute with the bows but like once she figures out that it's in her hair it's over i'm making these little i'm gonna say that they're fritters they're a crossover between fritters and pancake honestly i don't know which it's more of so i'm making some bigger ones for myself and i'm making some smaller ones for um, Tukey Girl. Every time I make them, she really likes them. And I make all of this from scratch. I use flour, baking powder, uh, I have raisins, ground cinnamon, uh, mm, vanilla extract. I really love how, um, that taste in there and then I put a little bit of sugar and when I make this I never really have to use like pancake syrup after because it's already so sweet um, on its own but yeah that's what I'm up to so far so yesterday was quite evening yesterday when I was done too this statistics teacher is he's very boring very very boring 
I'm fighting for my life to stay awake in his classes. I have his classes two times a week. Just a lot going on. So it's almost as if I have to be teaching myself outside of his class, which, you know, I'm going to do what I have to do. But it's kind of annoying because the first professor that I had, she really set the bar extremely high. Okay, so now we're just out here fighting for our lives. All the people who had her class first. So yeah, that's where we're at with that. Um, I definitely have to go in today and do some more. I work tonight. So when I'm done with breakfast here, I think I'm going to put my computer on the counter, on the kitchen table here, and try to see how much more I can power through with um, aid from the app. In addition to, um, I'm probably going to call my daughter. I don't really know. I don't know if she wants to be bothered, but I have it just in case. She even downloaded the app yesterday. But, you know, I have to get some more done today because all of the homework he uploaded to his math lab that I had to pay $90 for, okay? The school shit is something else. But in the end, it's going to be worth it. That's the one thing that I keep telling myself. So we paid $90 for his math lab, and he uploads all the homework that will be due the entire semester, right? And at first, it looks a little overwhelming, but it's actually a blessing because there's no um, specific due date on any except for the due date at the end of um, the semester. And somebody asked him and he did confirm that, but he also said, not because you see that the due date is like way at the end, it does not mean you should procrastinate on doing the assignments. Try to do the homework every day after class. So I'm trying to do that so that I don't feel like I'm so overwhelmed at the end, mainly because math is not my strongest subject. I need to be doing it in real time to one teach myself or kind of refresh what we learned in class that day but also teach myself as we go along so that's the plan sometimes the plan don't always work out but right now that's the designated plan okay yesterday I was trying to do the homework and the mail was on me in me in my skin on the computer touching the mouse she was getting me she was absolutely getting me. She's standing here looking at me. But the good thing is I don't have to be um, stationed to like my computer. I can do it on my phone a little bit on the go. So when I go to work um, and I have my break, I'm going to try and see if I can do some too. Mainly because that time I don't have Mia. So we're going to see. We're going to see. But it is a little bit more convenient like sitting by the computer and doing it on the computer. So there's that as well. I was going to make a few more and like put it in the fridge, but I don't feel like doing that right now. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, when I, when I, honey. She has all her meals in diaper because she gets food everywhere. You see? I'm just making some food. So I, I give her the only meal she might have clothed is lunch because that's in the middle of the day when she's already dressed for the day. But like breakfast and dinner, she has those in diapers. So she's going to have that in her diaper. And then we're going to go clean her up for the day. I already have her little outfit out. She wants to see what I'm doing up here. gonna cry when I put her down. <laughs> if nothing else I know this baby. <laughs> I actually have some her size actually ready. So I'm gonna put them down, put her in her high chair, put it down and have her like start eating. I also have some strawberries I'm gonna cut up with it. So we're gonna we're gonna prep her food and let her have that and we'll come back later. So I got some groceries toilet paper because there ain't no toilet paper up in here two four six eight ten i think that has 20 mm -hmm. plus some other stuff mia really likes these i bought this for her the last time and she ate one pack when we went to the nail salon 
and I have some lettuce and stuff. I'm trying to, I have some ground beef in the fridge. I'm going to make it and put it in the, I saw this recipe I want to try. So we have that and then we have some pork. Is this pork? Actually, I don't know if that's pork. It looks like pork, but we have that. Anyways, we just have a few things. Um, yeah. Also, I had the little light on here, but I took it off. The, after I put on the delivery app that I don't want any big bags, any big boxes, because they have this thing where they deliver the stuff in like a huge box. But one, the box is hard to break down. I have to do it myself. I'm breaking, I'm not breaking my nails to break no box down, but I can't put it in the back like that. So I put on there in the delivery instructions, no big box. So that means if you bring that big box in here, you must know where you're gonna put the box. So I go down there and I see him with the big box in the back of the car. And I'm just like, you can bring the box here and I'll take the items out and put them bags. I came up the stairs for the bags. And I'm like, oh, okay, let me just um, unload it here or whatever. He's like, oh, I don't want the box. I said, me either. I put it on there that I didn't want the box. I don't have nowhere to put it. So then he was just like, oh, okay, I'll take it or whatever. So I unload this thing and send him to the box. I have two huge cases of water. I think it's 40. Is it 40? Yep. It's 40 in the case downstairs. And yesterday when I stopped at the grocery store, I did buy three cases of like 28 but I drink a lot of water, one. Mia really likes water, two. It's very hot, three. I need water in here. Plus these items, I don't drive. I can't pick them up in my hand and like bring them home. So when I order things for delivery, those are items that I try to make sure that I get all the time. So I don't have to worry about like where I'm gonna get water from or like water running out or whatever. She's exploring. She's wearing lavender, lilac, or purple. I don't even know what color that is. Hi, Bob. I need to be very good about watering my little plants because that one, I just got it and all the leaves fell off and I was stressed out for a little bit. I thought I killed it, but apparently I didn't kill it. I'm wondering if because we're going through like the spring, this is my theory, the leaves fell off and then they just grew back. I'm grateful that they're growing back. I'm still watering the snake plant that I have outside the door on the landing of the stairs as well. And I have this one in the living room that I am also taking care of. This one, I've never had any issues with it dying or anything. And the only issues I really had with this snake plant is that Mia was getting into it and she was eating the dirt. But taking care of them. I might be a plant mom. Check me at the end of the year. But I'm gonna pack away the groceries and stuff, clean up the kitchen, and then I'm gonna actually try to do some homework. We'll see how that goes. Thank you.